everyone and welcome. Happy holidays. Hope everyone had a wonderful holiday weekend. Just taking a look here at the market. I want to see where we are at tonight here in the futures. 2631 All right. 2631. Well, I mean, we're basically neutral here. Let me just take this off and see if we can close. So we closed at 262.94. So we're, we're down slightly, but I mean, we're not down that much at all. So it looks like we're down slightly here from the close on Friday. Right now at 6.13, Sunday evening, the market opens tomorrow morning at 9.30. That's forever away. But I mean, we're slightly down. So I don't think this is any catastrophe. I mean, again, there'd be no real reason for us to be up necessarily gapping up. So if the market opened right now, we'd be down slightly. How would I read this? for tomorrow? Well, probably a drop just because of the fact that we've shown so much weakness in the last week and then of obviously the last two weeks and then obviously going back into the middle of October. Until the market starts to show some buying and some strength again, I don't see a turnaround. And since everyone on the planet keeps talking about selling and going down to this level of support, I mean, it's almost like everyone's putting it out there that everyone should just sell out now, which I'm not saying anyone should do if they're in the market long term. If you're in the market long term and you wanted to sell, quite frankly, you should have been out uh, here on the 12th. If you were in the market and you wanted to be out short term, medium term, long term, if you were desperate to get out, you should have been out here. Okay. After we didn't follow through with the rally on the 7th. But again, if you're in the market for a long-term retirement or investment or long-term trades, we're still holding the uptrend, I wouldn't get out here because you're just gonna have to get back in. Now you could look at that as one of two ways. You could say, well, we could get out and get back in. Fine, sure. But where are you gonna get back in? Till the confirmation happens that the market is actually gonna follow through with the buying, it's gonna be at a much higher price than we are right now. And I don't tell people or teach people or think it's even a good idea to buy support or buy the dips. So, I mean, at this point now, we could see more follow through of selling tomorrow. But I would advise people to just sit tight and kind of wait it out and see what the next week brings because the market could have a turnaround week this week. I don't think anything happens tomorrow for the turnaround, but I'm saying the market could turn around if in fact Trump resolves something with China at the summit on the 30th. So, I mean, that is in a week. So if that happens, the market could turn around. Now, if it doesn't, we could fall even farther. So, but I, I'm just saying, I mean, if you wanted to be out, you should have been out way before today or Friday or, or, or Monday morning. But as of right now, if we open here, we're going to fall tomorrow. We might not open here. Maybe we'll gap up. I mean, it's too soon to say this is a baby gap. But as of right now, we look slightly lower for tomorrow morning. So we'll just see where, where we go. And again, I'm looking at the SPY. Uh, you can look at the S&P. You can look at the Dow. But I think the SPY is a better indicator of everything that's going on right now with the market. Uh, good luck, everyone. Be very careful this week. And if you're in the trading with me, you're lucky because I'm going to read the market every day and give you... Uh, really a very good perspective of what's happening with the market uh, based on my gap analysis. And if you're interested in the next Golden Gap course, email me. It's December 15th and 16th. Uh, you can email me at melissathestockswish.com. Have a great night, everyone.